Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Randomness. Uh, this week is Felix the Cat, made in 1992 by Hudson Soft. Felix the Cat was actually a silent film cartoon uh, back, uh, I think, in the 20s, his, his origination. Interestingly enough, I was looking up a little more information, and apparently DreamWorks got the rights to the character. So, uh, as of last year, so that's kind of interesting. I wonder if they're going to try to make a DreamWorks film based on Felix the Cat? Uh, this is actually based on a redesign of Felix the Cat in the 50s, where he had a magic bag of tricks. This is, I guess, some sort of evil professor who wants to get Felix's magic bag of tricks. Uh, and the draw of Felix's magic bag of tricks is that he can assume different forms and do all sorts of crazy things. And For example, he can have a, a punching glove hidden in it. This is an action platformer, obviously. Kind of, uh, kind of a Mario, kind of not. Now, Hudson Soft made a lot of my favorite games. Um, or maybe not my favorites, but a lot of games I really enjoyed as a kid. Um, you know, Adventure Island and such, of course, were pretty big ones for me. So, the trick here is that, uh, we are a one-hit kill, but every time we pick up an M Heart, uh, we get a power-up. That's, I guess that's a magic thing. Um, and the timer on it is as long as those uh, hearts are by the star, and it is just a timer, it's not based on usage or anything like that. I don't know what makes the milk jugs appear, they're just points, but I think that might just be based on, they're either hidden in certain ones of these, or uh, based on how many you get. So every time we get another M without losing our previous one, we'll upgrade into a new form, and every form grants us the ability to get hit once, and then we transition into the previous form. So I've only played uh, the first stage of this, so beyond that it'll be blind to me. It's basically just wanted to see if it worked. Never played this as a kid. Uh, I do remember seeing it in Nintendo Power, though. Oh, a tank! Oh, are we shooting cannonballs with our face on it? That is bizarre. I think I can change the trajectory of this by... Yeah, I can kind of, if I hold the button, I go, it shoots it higher. Very strange. Um, what a weird power-up. They bounce along the ground, too. Now, those trees actually normally take two hits, but I guess the tank is more powerful. I don't know if there's a power-up beyond the tank. We didn't really get to see the, the rocket car there. I wonder if it carries over stage to stage, too. Probably not. And of course, we have a time limit. Um, I'm assuming if you collect 100 cat heads, then you uh, get an extra life, but that's just... Um, Speculation here. They have a really weird, like, gravity to them, too. Like, it's definitely like a... a very pre-programmed arc into it. Oh, there's some milk. Milk might restore the, uh... Oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, now we start back at square one. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, I wonder if milk restores the timer on... Uh, our power up. In fact, why don't I let it tick down and then this should be milk jugs, right? Oh no, it's not. Hmm. Well, the next time we pick up uh, milk, I'd be curious to see if it refreshes the timer on it. I actually think this power up is, well, I just lost it there. I actually think that power up is terrible. The first transformation is actually worse than the default. It hits in eight directions, but uh, it's actually got a much shorter range. And unlike the punching glove, you can't move while you're uh, firing. Oh, maybe you can? Weird. Okay, sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. It's it's definitely not very uh, consistent. I would assume there's gonna be, yeah, I was gonna say, there's gotta be a power up here. So now we see we lean on the horn and we shoot out those bows. Very, very odd. Now, I've never seen, you know, Felix the Cat, the old films, or any of the cartoons or anything, so I don't know if, you know, these, uh, these forms are things that he had in, in those once they did that redesign, or what. It's weird, uh, the cannonball looks like it actually disappears, uh, after a distance, but if it hits the ground, then it continues. Ooh, that was close. See if I can angle one up there. There we go. You jump pretty high, too. Okay, so the milk... Oh, yeah, yeah, the milk does restore 
Uh, the timer on that. Nice. Alright, so maybe we can get past the tank. If there is anything past the tank. Might be his ultimate form. I'm assuming there's gonna be, like, bosses or something in here at one point, too. Uh, the magic bag of tricks thing kinda gives me a Kirby vibe to it all. I suppose the levels are kinda designed that way, too. Except, you know, obviously you can't fly. Didn't miss one of those. I am running low on tank power here. Oh, man, it's... <laughs> You're very, very mobile, I guess is the best way to put it. It's hard to make fine movements without uh, going a little too far. Definitely takes some getting used to. He doesn't have any uh, momentum or anything either. Or, well, I shouldn't say that. He has momentum, but he doesn't have acceleration. Right, let's continue here. I do lose all of my cat heads, though. That's unfortunate. Also, just calling them cat heads. Any cat coins is better. Collecting a bag of cat heads this is like, you know, a very different version of nine heads in a duffel bag. There's a reference that is probably lost on, <laughs> hopefully, everybody. Alright, we got it. Probably gonna get magic power up in here, I would say. Weird, yeah, I can definitely move all the time while using this now. I, d I could not before. Maybe that's just something with the first stage? I, I don't know. Oh, there's another... Huh. I wonder why that came out there. I wonder, you know what, can we just go back in there and get an... Oh, it does kick me out, okay. Well, we'll stick with our bad driving here right now. Definitely a uh, New England driver. Give me a give me a tank power up here. All right, well milk is pretty good, but I would like a, a like a tank power up. Don't mind. I uh, oh I, okay. Apparently we break uh, stairs. That's that's very strange. I don't think we can slide. Oh, we can duck. We can't. We don't, we just slide naturally. All right, so I lost all my power ups there, unfortunately. But we got one back. Oh, there was, I, I guess, touching those... Oh, okay, so some of the clouds in the background actually hold items. Interesting. So, I, yeah, I wonder if there's, like... No, it doesn't seem to be one in the, the professor cloud there. I, I can bounce falling enemies, like, off my head or something, too. This is actually a really bad power-up to have here. All right, here we go. So this guy is on some sort of um, mechanical. I, I don't even know. I, I don't even. I don't know. This is like a, a kid with glasses on a mechanical ostrich. Oh, we get a point bonus for that. All right, moving on. What happens if I do this? Okay, it does just pop me back out. Not all the clouds have stuff, though. Strange. All right, gonna try to get past the tank. Oh, well, that's actually a horrifying laugh. Whoa, now we have an umbrella? Oh. Is this, a f like, a flying stage? Whoa, 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 okay. So I can, I can keep jumping. Is that, like, does that guy have, like, a little sombrero? Why does he have a sombrero when we're by the pyramids? What the hell? And what is this? Nothing, it's just, uh, okay. Um, oh, this is bizarre. So are we gonna have different power-ups? Oh! So now I'm throwing frisbee. Oh, this is real. Actually, that's really cool. So there's different power-ups in each world, I guess. I wonder, so maybe the tank was the max power-up for that world. I wonder what the max power-up is in this world. I also noticed something that's kind of strange is it makes it a little difficult. Is the, the camera likes to go low. Um, it definitely likes to stay, not show you very much above you, which is kind of problematic. Oh, yeah, so we get some points for that cloud. It's like our wife or something like that. Um, I would like another magic power up. Maybe we get like a plane or something. Oh, here we go. Oh, sorry, I was right. We did get a plane. 
Uh, the plane actually controls the same, which is a little strange. Although I can just hold the button, I think. Um, we fire these... I think we're shooting our own propeller off? That is not safe, my feline friend. Right, let's stay low, it's just easier to see. I would definitely be curious to see if there is a power-up beyond this. I'm assuming there's not, though. Alright, so that's... Is there anything up here? Any secrets? No. That's the goal. Weird. Yeah, I'd definitely like to know if there's more... Uh, if there's a power-up past the plane. I really like that there's multiple... Oh, now we're in the car again. Oh, so that was maybe equivalent to the second tier? I don't know, this is really... this is really strange. Now we're in a pyramid, I still don't understand why these guys have sombreros. And if that is some sort of Egyptian thing and I'm looking at it wrong, then I apologize. This is actually some tricky platforming here. Oh, look out. Can't see that bad at all. There we go. So, oh, there's a magic bag. Okay, well, here's a good test because the magic bags almost always have magic power up. So, if we don't get a magic power up in here, I would say that there probably are not any power ups beyond the tank. Yeah, seems like the tank is probably the last power up. That guy has like a big nose or something? Oh, so if you get it, there we go. We, so, we just got a magic power up beyond, um,. The tank, and if you- oh, jeez. If you do get one beyond the tank, or beyond the third form, it actually just straight up gives you a one-up. It's pretty sweet. And we might get another one-up here, um, from collecting enough cat heads. If I can do so without dying. 99. Oh, nope, it actually just gives you a magic power-up. So that's interesting. So you can only get the 100 coins extra life if you, uh, if you retain your level 3 power. That's definitely, certainly rewarding you for good play. But if you're playing that well, you probably don't need the extra lives now, do you? Now, I have game over once, but it doesn't seem like a particularly difficult game, because, I mean, I've still got two continues left, and I'm gaining lives now, so... That's kind of a bold thing to say in the second stage. I don't know how many levels there are in the game. Um, that sounded like another extra life. Was that like a point thing? Yeah, so I think 50,000 points gave me an extra life too. This, uh, this dog head not only creeps me out, but uh, concerns me a bit. There we go. There's some milk. Sure, we'll go in the magic bag of tricks. There's another extra life. I'm just racking these things up now. Alright, avoid the skulls. Glad that none of those platforms fall out from under me, although I'm probably jinxing myself saying things like that. Uh, okay, we got 500 points for going through that place, I guess. Maybe that was the quote unquote correct path. Not today, Bat. Oh, there's magic. So this must be the end of the level? I hope it's the end of the level and not just a, uh... Alright, so we got the dog now. With a gun. He fires, like, bullet bills. Ooh, some slowdown there. A lot of, a lot of flickering and slowdown there. It's really kind of strange. It's also odd that we come out to a goal after that, like after a boss fight, we still go to a goal. Ah, that laugh. Why are we back at home, though? You're doing well, Felix, but soon your game will be over. Click. How meta of you. Also, we have a chair with our face on it. How, like... Narcissistic can you get? Is that like a trash can? What the hell is that? 
So maybe there's not a new set of power-ups every world. Maybe there's just two types. There's air power-ups and ground power-ups. There's another extra life if I can pick it up. There we go. Oh, oh! I did not expect to be able to land on that bird. I definitely thought I was going to take damage there. That was really bizarre. There we go, we get some milk to refresh our tank. Can't fire the uh, the tank shells too often either. There's another extra life. I wonder how many. I mean, there are two digits there, though. That wasn't always the case. Sometimes you could still only get nine lives, even when a game listed two digits, which was kind of funny. That jump made me a little un. Oh man. I guess there was a cloud down there, but, uh... I don't- I really shouldn't try to be land on those birds. It's not really a reliable platform. I almost ran out of hearts there, too. I'm assuming if you run out of hearts, you just pop down to the previous, uh... Power up. So we've got, um, another ex two extra lives potentially. If it's an extra live every 50,000 points, uh, we've got one coming up pretty soon, and we've almost gotten... Um, 100 coins, 100 cat heads, if you will. But you really shouldn't, because again, that's still just weird. Oh, there's another one. There we go, so that's eight. These cannons firing here. Oh, no. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I am almost at 100 coins, though. So hopefully... I can get that without dying. This is actually some pretty precarious platforming, I must say. Didn't really want to backtrack for that milk. I'm kind of wishing I had it now. Oh, okay, so I actually picked up a, uh, a magic power up somewhere in that section there. Alright, so we should have an extra life in here, because we'll get a hundred. Yep, there we go. We're at nine, so I'd really like to get one more extra life without dying, because I really want to know if, uh, if it does go to ten. Um, 100k points didn't do it, though, so maybe it's not every 50,000, or maybe we have hit the maximum. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, oh, jeez. I don't know if I can walk on all enemies or just the birds. Boy, I was sitting here, I'm like, I'm just gonna play until I get a game over, but this video's been going quite long so far. Oh, we're flying again. And it automatically gave us the plane, which is interesting because the, we only had the car. I don't, so I don't know if it's just got like a, a default that it goes to every time, or if it's based on your previous set of power-ups. Oh, we're back down to the balloon here. Interestingly enough, the balloon plays a lot like the tank in the trajectory of your, your discs that you throw, whereas the plane plays a lot like the tank. Did I say the plane plays a lot like the tank? I meant the balloon plays a lot like the tank. I don't know. Also, I just look at the... Oh, okay. So where are... Planning. I was just looking at his the facial animations on his balloon, too, which was really bizarre. It is very, oh gee, it is very strange that you just have like this gravity no matter what, even if you're in the plane. You still have to kind of quote unquote jump in the plane. I would like to get another magic power up, but I don't think it's going to happen here. No. Alright, here we go, magic bag trick, this should give me the plane again. I haven't died yet, so we're still on track for getting that, uh, that tenth potential life. I wonder if we're gonna have a boss as the plane, too. I'm gonna watch out for cannonballs and birds. I don't know if I can get that cat head. Can okay. 
I'd really like some milk, though. Alright, well, that's... Except I just lost my, uh, my plane. Game is getting quite difficult, I must say. Oh, there we go, there's another magic power. I was pretty close to getting that 10th potential life. One of these times, it's gonna happen. If I could just find another magic bag or something. Yeah, this is gonna be- oh, let me take out this cannon here. There we go. Go! Oh, darn it. Bet there's gonna be another magic power up here pretty soon, too. No, that wasn't it. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I lost it immediately! So you don't actually have invincibility when you're transforming. This is probably gonna be a boss, I think? Yeah, so we are fighting this flying trash can. I mean, or it's a battery or something? This is actually really tough. Uh, I'm probably gonna die here, in fact. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh, we, so we don't actually start on the boss. So that's... curious. It does give me a chance to power up, at least. Although, not a lot. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got a power-up. So at least we have a long-distance weapon for fighting this boss. And he's gonna fire lasers at me. I wanna see if there's a magic power-up in here. There's not, though. So he actually hit my balloon there, I think. How far up can we go? Pretty high. So I gotta play really cautious now, wait for him to fire every time. Oh, there we go, we got him, nice. Well, maybe that'll do it for now. This is, um, a pretty long episode. Though I would be curious to know if, uh, people that are watching this, if you'd be interested in seeing, you know, if in the case where I could potentially finish a game in one sitting, would you be interested in watching the whole thing, or would you rather just have the bite-sized bit? Let's just see what the next level is first before I end the video here. <laughs> that laugh. What? What is that blob thing? That is horrifying. Well, anyway, that'll do it for now. This is Felix the Cat. Um, actually, a pretty darn fun NES game. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like. Helps out a lot. And subscribe if you like to see more. See you soon.